Hi everyone, so today I want to talk about the differences that can be within each and every single person with Tourette syndrome. A lot of people out there that have a hard time believing everyone that they see that has Tourette syndrome, you know, that a lot of advocates out there get accused of faking it, of not really having it, because it's not their idea of what Tourette syndrome should be. Myself included, I have been accused multiple times of faking my Tourette syndrome only on the internet because, you know, people aren't usually brave enough to actually say that to somebody's face. They're very brave behind that computer, you know, behind that keyboard, which can be incredibly frustrating. I, for the most part, tend to have a decent and easy time ignoring them. However, I know how hard that can be to constantly be told or even not constantly, but even just once to be told that you are faking something that you've lived with for so long, at least for me. I was like, as a lot of you know, I was diagnosed when I was seven. So I've been living with this for over 20 years now. I'm 31 years old. And for some person to come on and just say that somebody's faking it because they don't have Tourette syndrome, but they know what ticks are like, or they know what tick attacks are like, and they don't last this amount of time, or they only last this amount of time. Unless you're a person that has Tourette syndrome, unless you're a doctor, a neurologist, um, somebody within the Tourette syndrome community, even those in the Tourette syndrome community, you can't tell somebody whether or not their disorder is legitimate or not based on only your understanding of the disorder. I've been very honest on this page about how I have a mild a mild case of Tourette syndrome. I'm very I feel very lucky that my case is very mild. However, that does not mean that I do not have it. It also doesn't mean that the things that you guys do not see on these videos aren't happening. I don't always set up my recorder or my recorder my video camera and record a tick attack or anything. I've been a little more um, open to the idea of that more recently for shorter videos, but you have to understand that that's not always the time that I think about doing that. I'm here to educate and spread the word about how Tourette syndrome is real and how different it is for each person. That's how I came up with the idea of doing the Tourette talk video. So you can see it from other perspectives, see how it, is different from sex, race, age, anything. Every single day, every single hour and minute can be different for somebody with Tourette syndrome. Our ticks could be perfectly fine for hours upon hours and then all of a sudden they can get incredibly bad and we can start to have a tick attack out of nowhere or we can just start ticking out of nowhere continuously over and over and over again. Or we can get new ticks out of nowhere. You really just never know and it's nobody's place to undiagnose, I guess I'll say, somebody's disorder because it's not what television taught you it was or it's not what that one person who has a disorder is like that you know. Everyone's different and that's for every single disorder out there because anxiety, OCD, and depression, all of those things are different for everybody and everybody also manages their way through them differently. They have coping mechanisms. Some of us can suppress longer than other people. Some of us can't suppress at all. Some of us can power through. Some of us I can't or some days we can and some days we can't. It's so different and it's so, so important for people to understand that. If you want to learn more about it, there are so many incredible advocates out there teaching you about it. There's a Tourette Syndrome Association that you can go to. There's a Tourette's podcast that has all kinds of people's stories being shared. So many other amazing advocates that I've talked to here on my YouTube channel that share their story and their lives with Tourette Syndrome to open up and be more understood and more accepted. We have to understand that just because it's not the way we want it to be, or the way we thought it was, doesn't mean that what we are seeing or experiencing through somebody else isn't the real version of what they say it is. For them, that's their life or their lives. That is how they live from day to day. And remember that you only see a very small montage, small clips, small time frames of videos or pictures, whatever it might be. You don't see their whole lives off the camera and it can be so different because I can tell you right now, I tick a lot more off camera depending on the day. Some days, some of my videos, I tick more than others. 
but I guarantee you I take a lot more when this camera's not rolling. So you never see the whole picture just through these. And it can be, just like I've said in multiple videos of mine, it can be so many different severities. So my ask is just that you start learning more, start sharing these videos and other people's videos and advocacy work and education to a lot of people. It's the only way we can start to get that acceptance and that understanding of how different it can be from person to person and from family to family. So that's all I had to say today, guys. It's been on my mind a lot lately just because I've been seeing it so much lately and it's so frustrating to see it. So, so frustrating. And I apologize if you have heard my dog snoring in this whole video. She's asleep behind me and she's a little hurt today. So I didn't want to leave her by, by herself. So I apologize for that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please remember to subscribe, share, and share your story and educate everyone out there. And if you'd like to be on a Tourette Talk video, please reach out to me. I will be sending out calendar invitations to those who I've talked to more recently soon, and you will see more faces on those Tourette Talk episodes. See you guys later.